Hi everyone, I am back with the Hobby Lobby haul. Um, so I made another trip to Hobby Lobby. They are putting out tons of new goodies, guys. A lot of new dies, um, planner goodies, stickers, um, just, a, you know, a lot of uh, paper crafting um, goodies. So my intention yesterday was going to get two things from Hobby Lobby. Um, a blending tool for my coloring pencils, and I wanted to get some um, Halloween fallish, um, you know, decorations to decorate uh, the house and some lights. But after I took my butt into the crafting section, my budget kind of went out the door. The Halloween decorations went out the door. Yeah. So um, I'm going to try to do this quickly guys I try to upload this video four times and it's just not uploading so bear with me I'm gonna work on buying um, I use my phone to record and I'm thinking about buying a decent camera just to record and take pictures I this phone can't handle what I do on it and it's just driving me nuts all right I'm gonna jump right into it so they do you have a Hobby Lobby you, they just always have like the cutest little mugs um, this one was $11.99. I did use a few coupons, the 40% off coupons. I did get it off of this. I actually use it three times. Um, and just Hello Sugar. It's kind of like a pearl adescent, um, with a little lips, uh, stick stain on there. Isn't that cute, guys? They had, uh, ones with eyelashes, and I think there was one with, it was shaped as, a, like, a little fox face, and it had eyelashes. And I did not notice that until I uploaded it on my Instagram. I paid no attention to it. I would have had that little fox mug before I bought this one. But maybe uh, next time. But I got that. And then all the Christmas and, well, all the seasonal stuff, including, you know, decorations to paper crafting, are 40% off. The um, stickers and all that other, like, every day, um... Crafting supplies were not on sale this week at my store, but I've heard that they are 40% off in other Hobby Lobbies, which makes absolutely no sense. Um, but this is uh, this was $7.99. I thought this would be cute and fun for Gigi. I most likely could have made one of these. A little glass bottle, some sand, and a little tag. So it's just magic reindeer food. So we'll do this like on Christmas Eve. She'll get really excited about it. And I thought it was fun. So I got that. I also found the girl ribbon that I was looking for. Well, that I wanted to look for. Um, actually, this looks much wider than it did on the Instagram post. But there's those little girls. They have the washi tape. They have the paper pad with these little girls in there. Um, ribbon is 50% off. These were originally $3.99. Um, since they did have the 50% off, they only had three of these ribbons left, and I did. I grabbed all three. They're really cute, and I've seen some make little bows and put them on paper clips um, with that little ribbon. And then the little uh, teepee with the floral. This coordinates with the Boho Vibes collection. And they had a few others, too, that went with um, some of the newer paper um, goodies they put out. I thought that was cute. And that was $3.99, again, 50% off. Then I found these really cute ribbons. I'm not sure if they're new. It's my very first time even going in um, the ribbon section at Hobby Lobby. As a matter of fact, it's the first time I went on that side of the store. I usually stay in the paper crafting area, all the, you know, and then up front where they keep all the, um, you know, seasonal uh, decorations and stuff like that. Uh, my store didn't have a large um uh, supply of ribbon, but what they did have, they had some really cute ones. So these originally was $2.99. So this is like a soft pink with the gold foil floral. And I hope it's focusing in. You don't want to focus in on that, do you? There we go. Really pretty. So I got the pink, the baby blue. Now this one is a rose gold with a black background and it does have the floral and then I'd have some uh, little birds. I think we got little birds in there. And then I got the black with the gold floral. And then I got one of the mini um, or the skinnier gold foil um, bows. I should have got one or two more of these for a dollar. But that's the ribbon I got. And this is the um, blending tool. 
uh, one of my followers recommended um, getting a blending tool after I shared some of my coloring. I stamped and colored some images and shared on my Instagram. And I didn't even know that there was a blending tool for coloring pencils. Um, I guess this is like the generic brand. It was only $1.99 rice paper. I did not expect to see anything like this to be a blending tool for coloring pencils. It also works on charcoal and pastels. So $1.99. I hope it's the right stuff. Um, like I said, all the uh, seasonal um, paper, all the crafts were 40% off. So I got the foam um, little candy kings. I should have bought two of these guys. I have um, some tags that I kind of want to decorate this year for Christmas, and I think these may um, be the perfect size just for those. So I'm, I might have to get one more of those. I always buy these little foam um, snowflakes. I think they're so pretty. And I got the gemstones, the little uh, snowmen. This is going to... I bought it for our homemade um, Christmas ornaments. So I got that one. And... These two I bought for the Christmas ornaments. I thought that little penguin would be really cute on there. And then this is just a repurchase, my little fox. All right, this is a repurchase. I tend to buy this sticker set every year for Christmas. There's something about this little Santa and the little gingerbread man. Um, I think it's so cute, so that is a repurchase. Um, they put out some new planner goodies too. I think they had maybe three or four different Claire stamp sets from Agena 52. This one is the only one that kind of popped out. Cute little foodie, fry yay, and then sleep in with the cute little eyelashes. I love weekends, of course, but coffee first. So I got that set. And they had, I think, four new um, planner washi tubes from the Agena 52. I just grabbed this one. Simple. I actually been playing a lot in my planner um, the last month or so. All right, so Hobby Lobby put out, I'm telling you guys, tons of new dies. And they put out these Disney dies, which I thought was so cute. Let me share these with you guys. And yes, I will probably, most, I don't know if these would go on sale since they're Disney. Um, if they did, that would be awesome because there's like two more sets that I really want to get. I waited for, well, I didn't wait for them. I was hoping um, to get my hands on some kind of, you know, Disney-themed dies uh, that, you know, works in the, my big kick. So, and these are perfect for that. So, I got Little Minnie. And then I got Minnie and Mickey. I did. I took my butt back there, guys. And um, Enchanted Belle. So you get the die, and then you get the little clear stamp for the little face. And I'm hoping the face looks just like um, Enchanted uh, Belle that looks just like them. So I got that one. And you, this is the very first die that this was in my cart. In my cart. Um, yeah. How cute are those guys? So cute. So I got that, and... I got this one, um, Captivating Cinderella. Again, there's that little stamp set. And there's the back side. And then one more of the Disney dies. And this one is a Cinderella embellishment. Why is this one so, uh, more than any other one? Uh, it just kind of makes no sense. These ones are $14.99, and this is $17.99. I don't know. They also have Beauty and the Beast. They had like the Princess Carriage, Frozen. They had Olaf, Elsa, Anna. Yeah. All right. So I got those. I was like super excited about them. And then they put out some new Tim Holtz, um, Stampin' Dice sets, Sizzix, Bell Binders, a lot. Um, and most of these newer ones you can find on scrapbook.com as well if you don't have a Hobby Lobby. I also have the um, coffee one. Um, of the cut and emboss uh, set that they put out. I purchased it from scrapbook.com. I really wanted this one too. So this is the floral and it does um, cut and emboss and it has a hello die. So that's really pretty. You can make little shakers. And well I should have stuck with Sizzix. Let me show you these. I thought these were banners. 
I can, I have so many ideas where I can, I can use these in so many different ways. Um, I thought they were different and really cute and they're a nice size too. I like the designs in this, uh, these dies and those are from Sizzix. And this set is actually sitting in my cart at scrapbook.com. And this is the little pumpkin spice, everything nice stamp and die set. Absolutely love that mug. I don't have one that's, you know, that shape. And of course you get the cute little stamps. And um, this is one of the newer spell binders, little Christmas tree. We have a holly jelly Christmas. That would be really cute in gold or silver too. I can't wait to play with that. And then I got this set. There's another set I really want, but I got this one. Um, the little deer. And you get quite a few. You get nine dice in the set. Little deers. And then you get the Christmas ornaments. A little star dies. Yeah, I wasn't playing, guys. <clears throat> and then I got the... And this is just one uh, large die. I'm a butterfly girl, and I thought this was really pretty. And then it kind of has a little leafies um, around it. And one more. I did. And then this one. And again, you can also purchase these off of, you know, AliExpress, uh, eBay. I prefer to buy it from my local stores personally. Um, it's not going to take a month to get to me. I'm not saying I have ordered from eBay before, guys. And I waited a month to get my little uh, die and free shipping. They're only a dollar or two dollars. Um, they're, you know, they're pretty much knockoffs. Um, and I hear good and bad about um, the dies that you get usually get off AliExpress or, um, you know, eBay. Well, this wasn't the last set. I'm sorry, guys. I also got this set. I have no Paisley dies, and I actually love the Paisley um, design. And as you can see, you can do a few different things with these, and they're, actually, they're a nice size as well. So I think I'm done with Hobby Lobby until, you know, maybe November, December. Yeah. Um, so that is my, well, no, I, it's not my haul. I purchased this even though I didn't need to. I thought I was lower on my glue. As you can see, it's like halfway um, full. This glue is a little bit pricey, guys. I would um, purchase it with a coupon. The 450 Quick Dry Adhesive. Love, love, love this glue. I also like the... Um, the Tombow glue, this works really well too, but I'm kind of digging this one um, right now. So I did. I should be, you know, good with glue for a little while. And I'm looking around. That is it as far as my um, Hobby Lobby haul. Uh, if you guys have anything you want to share with me, any questions, please comment uh, below. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'm always sharing something on my channel. I also have an Instagram. You can check me out. I use Mommy Loves Gigi over there and I post like crazy over there um, and I'm going to come back on with a magazine um, issue I stopped at Barnes and Noble so I'll share those um, with you guys if you guys want to stop back by hopefully it uploads guys my fingers are crossed I'll talk to you soon bye